Well, happy Tuesday and welcome to VA Careers Live. My name is Mike Owens and I'm a national recruiter with the Veterans Health Administration, as well as your host for our weekly segment, Talk About It Tuesday. If you're tuning in for the first time, I want to let you know that we are here every Tuesday at 12 noon Eastern time. So feel free to grab a drink, grab a snack and join us as we talk about careers here at VA. Now, again, whether you're tuning in for the first time or you've been with us for the last three years, we want you to be part of the conversation. So feel free to leave any questions or comments in the comment section. Uh, my team and I will make sure that we go through those questions and comments throughout the day and throughout the week to make sure anything you put in the comment section is addressed. So please don't be shy. We love comments. We love to see what you have to say. If you have anything that you want to add to the conversation, feel free to leave that information. If you have anything you would like to ask us or our guests, put that in the comment section and we'll make sure that everything is directed to where it needs to go. And also, we all know someone who wants to work here at VA. So please, we ask that you please share our broadcast. Again, please share our broadcast. But before you share it, we have two hashtags that are associated with our broadcast. And the first one is hashtag VA careers. Again, hashtag VA careers. And the second hashtag you can add to that share button is hashtag work at VA. Again, so hashtag VA careers and hashtag work at VA. Hit that share button and let's get this information out to as many people as possible. So with that, before we start our uh, awesome broadcast today, um, today is February 20th, and today is National Love Your Pet Day. Again, National Love Your Pet Day. And I'm sure that most of you that are watching us today, you have a pet that is near and dear to your heart, whether uh, it's a pet that you currently have or a pet that you had at some point in your lifetime. So with that being said, the question of the day is, what type of pet do you have? And if you want to share their name, go ahead and add that to your question, to your comment. So again, since today is National Love Your Pet Day, uh, I'm interested to see what types of pets everyone have in our comment section or in our audience. So please go ahead and, and tell us what is your pet and what is their name. And I'm sure our audience members, my team, and anyone that's watching is going to be interested in seeing the different pets and the different names that we have uh, that we have watching today. So with that being said, I don't have any pets. I'm thinking about one day uh, getting a pet. So if you have any recommendations for me, go ahead and put that in the comment section, a recommendation of what type of pet that I can get in the future. And if you want to add some names, if you think some perfect names for some pets that I can, uh, that I may have in the future, go ahead and put that in the comment section. So with that being said, we're going to go into our broadcast today. Today we have a very special interview today, and not only do we have one guest, all right, we have two guests, all right? Uh, we're going to be talking about healthcare engineer careers here at VA, and because that is a, such a special occupation here, we couldn't just have one person. We had to have two. So with that being said, we have uh, two of uh, two chief engineers here at VA with us. Uh, the first one we have is uh, Mr. Joshua Har uh, Farber. He's a chief engineer at the Salt Lake City, Utah VA Medical Center. And then we have Elizabeth Meyer, who's the chief engineer with the West Colorado VA Healthcare System. So with that being said, welcome team. How are you today? Doing great, thank you. Awesome. And you guys ready to talk about this exciting, uh, exciting career field of uh, healthcare engineers? Most definitely. <laughs> of course. Uh, awesome. So here we go. So um, like I do with all of my guests, um, periodically we have guests on. So the first thing we want to know is, and uh, I guess we'll start with Josh, is how did you first come to work at VA? So I actually just got my 20-year pin. Uh, oh. Uh, for working for the VA. I, I had a short stint working for the Marine Corps as a civilian, but the majority of my time has been with the VA. I started at the VA right out of college and went into a program called the TCF program. And I'll probably mention that a couple times. And, you know, there, there's a lot of acronyms in the government, but <laughs> right. <laughs> so I'll have to say what each one stands for. But so, so TCF is technical career field, and it's a nice program uh, that that are uh, that the there's like a program office for it where they fund different uh, people who have just graduated out of college and trying to get job experience and develop them up to a you know fully functioning in in this case healthcare engineer. Um, so so I was able to get into that program right out of school and um, just kind of work my way up 
through the ranks and now I'm a chief engineer and I'm actually hiring um, TCF engineers and training them up too. So it's kind of cool to um, see that cycle uh, come back and be able to give back in that way. So Awesome. Giving back is always awesome. So Elizabeth, I'm going to shoot it over to you. So my, my career path has been a little more meandering in the federal government, but I am a few months shy of my 20 years of federal service. But I also started out in an internship program, um, the Navy's acquisition internship program, but it's an equivalent program. Basically, there are apprenticeships as you come right out of college to start to learn your government engineer or other technical career fields. Was at the Navy for a few years, went to the National Park Service, spent a long time with the Air Force, all as civilian positions, went contractor for a little while, which is when I started actually doing work for the VA. In particular, Josh was one of our customers, mm -hmm. um, which then that breadth of experience um, set me up to successfully um, be the chief engineer here at the VA for the past six years um, in Western Colorado. So my past been a little more meandering than Josh's other than maybe those military moves um, in there, but um, it's been fun. Awesome. Well, it's good to get to know you guys and, and know about how do you come work with Create VA. But what what kind of confuses me is that you guys said that Joshua, you said that you're you got your twenty year pin. Elizabeth, you say you're almost there, but you guys look like you're like twenty two yourself. So how how do you make that happen? We have I have to find that fountain of youth that you all have. But that's awesome. So and thank you for your service to our veterans over these last uh, twenty two decades that you guys been working in federal service. So. Uh, with that being said, um, you know, from your perspectives and positions, you know, what does a healthcare engineer do at VA? And I'll punt it to you first, Elizabeth. So I, the simplest yet most complex to answer, I would say is everything. We are all ultimately going the grounds bulbs, you know, as a chief engineer, the maintenance, the tradesmen from electricians, plumbers, um, HVAC to healthcare engineers, to technicians, we have a full breadth of scope of responsibilities. Um, okay. Makes it, if you like learning and problem solving, makes it really fun, um, definitely complex. But as a healthcare engineer coming up as a degreed engineer, you usually start out on an assortment of varying sizes, projects of doing renovations or maybe construction, growing in your career to where you're potentially building whole buildings or for some folks, whole new campuses, you know, whole new hospitals. Awesome. That's, that's it. Okay. <laughs> Josh, how about you? What does, uh, from your perspective, what does a healthcare engineer do at VA? So healthcare engineer is kind of a, a term that is really specific to VA. It doesn't exist in any other government agency, as far as I know. We, right. we used to be called general engineers, which is just kind of a jack of all trades type engineer. Um, and, and those are traditionally mechanical engineers, electrical engineers, civil. I mean, it's it, it really could be anybody. Um, and, and that hasn't changed, actually. Our, we used to be considered general engineers and have transitioned into that healthcare engineering title. Um, and so that that can be a little bit confusing to people like, like what the heck is a healthcare engineer? But it really is a general engineer. But um, the, the reason for the name change was that the, the work that we do impacts patient outcomes. So um, there's a like all this stuff Elizabeth kind of mentioned as far as maintenance and construction goes, those, uh, you know, if we don't do those things correctly, that can negatively impact a patient's outcome. So um, we were really focused in on infection control and making sure that we're not impacting adjacent spaces when doing construction. And like uh, in, in, in construction, you can end up impairing a fire system or an exit or something like that and so just like how how do you how do you still make it safe for patients to be uh in in our hospitals and um so we're we're really focused on that and um just just, just one other thing about healthcare engineering it's it, it can be a very broad um 
uh, as far as the different types of positions that you could hold. So I, I think if you asked a VA person what a healthcare engineer does, it's more project management and that type of thing. But but we're really getting a lot more focused in on healthcare planning, which you know we want an architect to probably fill that role or an actual healthcare planner. We're doing environmental compliance. Um, there's just all sorts of different types of positions that could be held under that role. So um, yeah, this, it's, it's pretty broad. Um, so I, I would just maybe look more specifically at each job announcement and kind of see exactly what it is. But really, generally, electrical engineers and mechanical engineers are really optimal for these positions. Um, but, you know, any, any type of engineer or even architects be wonderful candidates. Awesome. Thank you for that advice and thank you for that. Um, so um, I know that we're probably having, uh, we probably have more than a handful of people that are watching us or that will watch us eventually um, throughout the week that uh, may have an engineering background or they may be in school for engineering or maybe some of them just graduate with their degree in engineering. So um, if they're, if, if, if this conversation is sparking their ears and want, and they're wanting to possibly come work here at VA, uh, what advice would you have for them? So I'll start with you, Josh. So I, I think the, the best route into the VA is through that TCF program I mentioned. And again, that's technical career field. That's kind of a general term for a lot of different types of positions within the VA. Um, healthcare engineering is one of those. Um, and you, you really start from right out of school and you get a really broad look at what the VA does, what our mission is, like how does finance work or HR operate. You, you really understand more deeply how healthcare is delivered within the VA. And, and that sets you up to be more successful as you work through, um, say, say you're doing project management. Mm -hmm. You having, having that broader perspective helps you um, consider who your stakeholders are more effectively. You understand the impacts of what you what the work you're doing has on a patient and and clinical staff. Um, so I, I've, I we, we've hired several people who have come through the TCF program and several engineers who have just kind of come straight out of DOD or, or or the private sector or something and um, and there's a really big gap there. I mean, the, like technically they're, they're equivalent and have the same skills, but, um, as far as delivering the final product, it's, it's been much more effective for them to, um, come in through that TCF program. So, and that's, that's my biggest advice. Um, but, um, no, no, no matter where, who you are, or where you are, th there's a place to fit in. We, we have a ladder of different and um, so yeah I just say throw your name out there and and we'll see where you fit in awesome awesome so your turn Elizabeth what advice do you have for uh, those who want to become engineers here at VA so yeah I concur with everything Josh has said and so I'll just add on to it we also add uh, or um, have TCF interns I've hired TCF interns. I've hired folks from the outside um, with experience. I'm one of the folks that came from the outside with experience. And Josh is one of the counterparts that I go to regularly for some of the unique aspects of the VA way versus the Air Force way versus, you know, um, those things. Everybody brings important skills to the table and new ideal or past someone that goes through. Um, definitely advocate for the TCF program for those folks. Um, our experience, um, definitely want to bring those skills in and those perspectives um, of things. And I would encourage you, as simple as in your resume, somewhere in there, use the word healthcare. Um, if you've done any kind of project anywhere, somehow related to use the word healthcare, um, VA's HR system is big. It does, resumes do get sorted by, by HR. They don't know that these two words are equal sometimes. So right. whatever words are in the you know job announcement, use those words because they 
the poor person who's trying to screen res hundreds of resumes mm -hmm. from many different career fields won't know that those things are equal and it can be frustrating. Awesome. But yeah, thank you. And I, I, we love we love when people give resume advice and stuff because it kind of it backs up everything we've been saying on this program for the last two years. Your resume really counts. Like, and your resume is your first line of defense towards getting a job at here at VA. And you have to make sure that you know your your resume close closely matches the job announcement. Of course, don't copy and paste. Don't have the same exact verbiage, but you want those keywords in there. So thank you for um, kind of reiterating that. Uh, Elizabeth, so thank you for that. So our uh, last and final question today is, you know, as engineers, what would you say is your most absolute favorite thing about working at VA and why? So I'll put it to you first, Elizabeth. I think it's work getting to work with and for um, some truly amazing and great people. Um, the team that I work with, both within engineering and my counterparts from finance to the clinical staff to logistics, um, all truly care about our veterans and our mission here in providing the best quality care that we can um, within the resources that we have and being very creative in how we use those resources. So lots of fun problem solving where our facility was built in 1949. Josh is around the same age. So we've got stuff that's old. It likes to give us some challenges. <laughs> challenges and some unique creativity and just everybody coming together to find the best solution that we can to support our veterans because he gets in the clinical staffer but i need to see this veteran and so getting every outcome the soonest awesome that's awesome so josh what's your absolute favorite thing about working at va well um i feel like you have a lot of ability to change the environment that you're in. If, if, if there's something that bothers you or you, you identify a problem, um, you, you have the tools to be able to, um, to correct those things. We, we, we really encourage people to take, um, take like lean six Sigma training and get their green belts and black belts and, and stuff like that. And, um, and be able to lead projects to make things better for for our veterans. So, um, like if 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 there's if you have initiative and um, and you have the tools in your tool belt, like you can you can really make huge impacts and just make things better. Make um, you know and and like like I kind of said earlier, we have a direct impact as healthcare engineers on patient outcomes. So you can really like without being a, a clinician, you can make or uh, help a veteran become more healthy, or at least keep them safer as we um, as we treat them for whatever's going on. So, yeah, just just the the freedom to make things happen, and um, and the and the support from like leadership and and those around you. Like everybody works together and um, towards those common goals. You just kind of need to identify problems clearly and and just you like lean on the processes from lean <laughs> <laughs> yeah well all right well you know we appreciate those answers and we always love to know why um our different va employees like working at va so um for my audience if you're just tuning in or you tuned in halfway through today where we're talking about healthcare engineers and who's best to be able to talk about this is these two awesome chief engineers that we have we have Josh, Joshua Farber, that's from the Salt Lake City, Utah VA Medical Center. And we have Elizabeth Meyer, who's the chief engineer at the West Colorado VA Healthcare System. So um, if you have any questions about healthcare engineer, engineering positions here at VA, feel free to leave those questions and comments in the comment section. If you have anything uh, specifically for Joshua or Elizabeth, we'll go ahead and forward those questions over to them so we can get all that answered. So uh, before I leave, I just want to say, Josh and Elizabeth, thank you again for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. Me. All right. And again, uh, before I end our broadcast, we did have our question of the day. Today is National mm -hmm. Pet Day. So if you have a pet or you had a pet a pet in the past and you want to go ahead and share what type of pet that was and what was their, their lovely name, go ahead.
that in the comment section. I'm looking forward to seeing that. So with that, thank you for tuning in to talk about it Tuesday. If you know it's Tuesday, we're definitely going to talk about it. And with that being said, have a great day, and we will see you on next week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.